what we do is we provide equine assisted learning and psychotherapy to individuals in this neighborhood who have experienced trauma. And horses are known to be very healing creatures. I grew up with horses and animals and we've had them a long time, but not in the inner city. And there's very few of these, about six of these kind of barns in the United States that do this work in the inner city. Thinking about these zoos uh, efforts in the community connected to solar, so our community solar resiliency program. This project is exactly what we're talking about. So the, the interesting fun connections between horses on the hill and the zoo are kind of, there's several issues. One is horses, right? So they love animals, we love animals. But also they have this, this beautiful garden and obviously we're a botanical garden. So those were the two connections where it was like, hey, what they do, we do a lot of that too. We're good at that, they're good at that. Let's get together. And then the solar was something that they'd always wanted. But again, cost bearers and things like that. So when we heard about their idea that they'd love to make this place more sustainable, lower the footprint and lower their cost, quite frankly, it was like, of course, this is a no, total no-brainer. The opportunity there then becomes able to put money back into stuff instead of using it for utilities. It obviously makes us more green, which is what we care. We also care very much about that and teaching that to an inner city neighborhood that doesn't understand what that means. This is going to be a 18-ish kilowatt system that'll darn near take care of all their uh, energy needs. So we're always looking for creative ways to save money. So the solar will be able to cut down costs on our electricity bill um, to be able to pour into our programming and serving the women and children of this neighborhood. We are donating the panels, but there's a lot more to these systems than just the panels, the inverters and the interconnect and all this other stuff. It's not just the zoo, it's us and our partners doing what we do well, in this case solar, uh, to help people achieve their sustainability goals as well as ours. They've been such a great match to bring the green ideas to us here. Obviously, they're good at it. They're unbelievably good at it, so it helps us get better at it. We are the epicenter of sustainability in this town, have been for a long time. We're just succeeding on all levels at the zoo with solar, but that's not good enough. For us to be succeeding, and yet across the street and across our communities, we have people struggling with energy poverty and their energy bills and all these different things. This is a way for us to take that expertise and what we're really good at outside of our fence to help the people in our community. <laughs>